Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Top 3 Tuesday. It's good to see you guys. Happy Victory Tuesday if your NFL team won this week. I am having a fantastic week already, and uh, this is going to be a fun video. I really, really think this Pokemon is unique, cool. We're going to do a unique, cool Pokemon. When 151 comes out, we're going to be focusing in on Gen 1, but I want to focus in on some other generations before we get back to that point. Uh, our, our first one is going to be Rotom for this week. Uh, Rotom is really unique. Instead of evolving, Rotom can turn the form of five different objects, which include a ceiling fan, a washing machine, a refrigerator, a lawnmower, and I am forgetting one, uh, a microwave. The microwave. All right. So let's go ahead and get this started. And before we do, I just want you to know these art, everything that we do here in this specific series is my opinion. Uh, there's no valuation or anything like that. Like It's not like the highest value Rotom or anything like that. This is just what I think looks super dope and super cool. So I want you guys to know that before we uh, really get started. All right. Let's go ahead and get this party started. And uh, here we go. Give me one second here, and boom, there we go. And uh, on our left here, we have the 2009 Rising Rivals. May 20th, 2009 Rising Rivals. This is the uh, fan Rotom, and if you guys don't know, this this is a like flying-type electric Pokemon. It's interesting, kind of cool. I liked this uh, Rising Rivals series. It had like special Rotom cards that were had like a special like shattered glass hollow pattern. I like this hollow pattern on cards. Uh, it's not very it's not used very often in Pokemon ever like in the historic like the his history of Pokemon. But I really like this design. It's really nice. Uh, on the right side, you have the washing machine Rotom, which was an Ultra Prism in February second, two thousand eighteen, and also was in the pre-release kits. Uh, from what I remember, these two cards almost 10 years apart, but uh, really, really cool. Rotom, Rotom gets some love. Rotom does get some love. He was also in Shining Fates, which, uh, like I said, we're going to be opening up some Shining Fates here in a minute. Uh, on the left side here, we have the Rising Rivals again from May 20th, 2009. Mo, the lawn mowing Rotom. I had to include at least a couple of types of Rotoms. And uh, on our right is the uh, trainer card. And I know this is a trainer, not a Pokemon. But look, we're making the rules here, dang it. And it's a Rotom card. May not be Rotom as a Pokemon. But our first top four, you know, but didn't make the top three cut. That uh, we have had a trainer included in it. Cinnamon Base, February 3rd, 2017. All right. These are our top three now, ladies and gentlemen. Th these last four could have made the cut, but these next three are my favorite artworks ever. All right. Our first one up is going to be the Undaunted series released on August 18th, 2010. Uh, it's kind of, this one's kind of a nutty card. Uh, I know it's just a regular rare, non hollow, uh, but the population for PSA 10, only two. And it's $100. This might be like a worthy like competitor of a card to just pick up for no reason because it's so cheap. Uh, and it's a beautiful card. Like, I love this card. This is a really nice one. All right. Next one up here is the Rotom V. This just came out in Lost Origin. It is a phenomenal card. You see the fridge, the microwave, the washing machine, the lawnmower, and the fan. All the things that it can become. And it is an alt art card. And uh, I think it has some value to it raw. I think it's about $40 raw. But uh, in a PSA 10, it's only $55. Bucks. 536 though exists of this card. Which is probably why it's so uh, cheap. But I think this price will go up eventually. Alright. Now finally. This was a tough one. I'm not going to lie. I like the Lost Origin Rotom, but uh, this one is just, it just has the appeal to it that I just don't think that m many, like the, these design hollow pattern, like from back then are just beautiful. This is Majestic Dawn. It's a regular holographic uh, from May 21st, 2008. And I just like the sky in the background and uh, it just kind of looks, you know, like deserty or like crazy stormy, but I love this one. This is a really really nice Rotom. Love the hollow pattern on it. Uh, PSA ten ninety five dollars plus. Now that the reason I say plus is because it is a price guide price for the CGC ten. 
or yeah, CGC 10. The population in PSA, there's only four. None of them have sold. So this is probably going to be worth way more than $95 in the PSA, but I can't give you guys the estimate because there is nobody that's selling this card in a PSA 10, and there, I don't think there's, there's ever been one sold, at least not in the last uh, couple of years. So that is my list, ladies and gentlemen of Rotom. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, and now we're going to open some Shining Fates. And uh, you guys know last week we had some really big success on the Shining Fates. So uh, I'm hoping we get some uh, more success here. We got an, one of these uh, Mr. Rhyme, the Galarian Mr. Rhyme pin boxes. I'm telling you, I saw these at uh, our, my, like my local Target. I had these in stock for some odd reason. So uh, I picked them up because I kind of, I never got the, I didn't get all the pins. I got the Dedaney one and that was about it. Uh, these pin sets are like 15 bucks and it comes with three packs, the promo card and a pin, which the promo cards kind of like warped a little bit because Probably because it's been in the dang packaging for so long. Uh, but I'll take it because I need it for my Sword and Shield set anyways. Comes with the Mr. Rhyme pin. I know Mr. Rhyme's not really that popular for... I don't know. Mr. Mime is kind of a weird Pokemon in general. So then they made a Mr. Rhyme and... I don't know. Anyways, last time we opened these, we had a lot of good luck. So uh, let's uh, let's open one Toxtricity and then Charizard sandwich, basically. Uh, and see what we can pull here. It's exciting. I, I like Shining Fates. I know it's not, you know, in people's top 10 sets of all time or anything like that, but I kind of like the set. It's uh, it's fun. There's, uh, you know, it's not like Hidden Fates. It's not that good, but it's it's got some charm to it. You got Tropius, and you got a Frostmoth holographic, and I, I'm going to throw it to the side because I might need it. We got the Charizard pack. Charizard's really the only, like, big hitter on here, but you can also get some other, like, Baby Shinies, and I like the Baby Shinies. We're, we're looking for a Suicune. Still, we want that Suicune. Come on, baby. Got some fire. Maybe the maybe that's the luck right there, ladies and gentlemen. Um, I mean, another Charizard would be kind of nice, though. I'm not going to lie. I already have one, but it would be nice. Ooh, we got a Grimmsnarl and a Crobat V. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. It's a double whammy right there. Uh, that could have been a Charizard. That could have been a Charizard. Or a Lapras. I don't think I have a Lapras either uh, from the set. But um, Shining Fates, man. Just, just a fun set to open up. All right. We got electric, so maybe the electricity is still here with us. Potentially not, though. I'm happy with what we pulled. Maybe we get the Rotom. That'd be kind of cool, too. Trap Inch. Shinx. Man fee. All right, well, not too bad, not too shabby for, you know, three packs of Shining Fates. Uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments about my Rotom list. Uh, what, if there was any Rotoms that were missing. I mean, there's not that many Rotom cards in general. Let me know. I was trying to, you know, I tried to include some of the cool shaped ones, but then that, that trainer card is kind of unique as well. Um, like I said, if you like this video, please leave a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel. Thank you for all the support you guys have given me over the last year of making kind of unique content here on the YouTube. Uh, definitely, definitely uh, appreciate everybody. Uh, all right, ladies and gentlemen, um, if you could also do me a big favor. Tell somebody something nice. Could be the only nice thing to hear all day, all month, all week. Mental health awareness, incredibly important. I love you guys. Until the next video, you guys have a fantastic rest of your day. Click on one of the videos on the left or right as well. Could, it would do me a favor. I love you. Bye-bye.